You know, cats and rats don't see eye to eye. Put the two together and it's almost always the rat that comes off second best. Turns out part of the reason for that might be that the rat's brain has been overtaken by aliens. In fact, the same sort of mind control might be possible with you and me as well. Dr. Jonica Newby explains. So, who's in charge here? Is it the cat? Is it the rat? Or is it something else entirely? As a vet, I've been fascinated by the discovery that there's this tiny parasite capable of taking over this rat's brain. And it makes you wonder, could it also be influencing the behaviour of humans? Are we all subject to alien mind control? And here's the evidence. Alien bugs ready to be implanted in a brain. So what are these little wrigglies? These are the Toxoplasma tachyzoites, which is the infective stage of the parasite. So then they can travel throughout your body, um, predominantly to your brain, where they form cysts. And um, that's where they live for the rest of your life. The rest of your life? Yep. So you're saying these could be in my brain? Yes, well, quite possibly if you've ever owned cats or eaten undercooked meat. Um, 30 to 40 percent of the human population is infected with this parasite. We've known about the strange life cycle of Toxoplasma for some time. In its juvenile stage, it invades and develops inside the muscle or brain of any mammal or bird. To reach its adult stage, it then needs to be eaten by a cat. But what nobody realised is that the little parasite was playing an active part until, in 2000, scientists in England stumbled on something amazing. Well, to demonstrate what was discovered, I've organised the assistance of a stunt rat and a stunt cat. Now, this is actually my cat and he has no teeth and arthritis, so I think he's probably pretty safe. But just in case, let's pop him in this cage. Normally, rats are innately terrified of cats, but when rats were infected with Toxoplasma, amazingly, they seemed to lose all fear of cats. In fact, they seemed perversely attracted to them. They'd been turned into suicide rats. The suicide rats and, you know, the mind control and sort of basically it's a bit like the X-Files, you know, that these things can live in your brain and dictate how you behave. So had they lost all fear, or only the fear of their mortal enemy? What was going on? Earlier this year in sunny California, scientists in Stanford went looking for the answer. In this experiment, a small piece of cat collar is placed in a clip. This is a normal rat. Look how he reacts to cat odour. But this is how infected rats behave. When the scientists then looked inside the rat's brain, it turned out Toxoplasma had preferentially set up home in the amygdala, the brain's main fear centre. More incredibly, the rats didn't lose their fear of other things like electric shocks, nor their sense of smell. It blows me away to be so precise in targeting the area in the brain that will make a rat less fearful of a cat. It's just, it's just phenomenal. I mean, how clever is that? To not then affect other behaviours that are going to affect the general rodent's well-being because they don't want the host to die unless it's eaten by a cat. It begs the question, can they do the same in humans? Nearly half of us are hosting these things and we've just found out they're not as quiet in there as we thought. And every now and again it's believed that the parasites actually do liberate from their cysts and wriggle around in your brain for a little while before they go back into cysts. It's a bit freaky, isn't it? It's very freaky. <laughs> yeah. One research team in Europe has found toxoplasma-infected women are more likely to be promiscuous. Um, there have been studies as well that have shown that you're more likely to be involved in a car accident, either as a pedestrian or a driver of a vehicle. Uh, two, two and a half times more likely to be involved if you've got the parasite. Scientists conducted experiments in which rats were given a choice of nest boxes sprayed with one of four smells. 
water, rat urine, rabbit urine, and cat urine. An uninfected rat timidly steers clear of the cat smell, preferring the safety of familiar scents it associates with home. But when the rat had toxoplasma in its brain, the rodent fearlessly explores all smells before settling as close to the cat urine as possible. The microscopic body snatcher in the rodent's brain makes the rat like the smell of cats. For the rat, that has fatal consequences. But for the parasite, it's the best way to get back to the host, thereby completing its life cycle. By taking control of the rodent, the body snatcher travels from cat to rat and back to cat. But what makes this parasite really scary is that it doesn't just live in rats. All kinds of grazing animals accidentally ingest the eggs of toxoplasma. Like rats, the parasite lodges in the brain and muscle where it can be passed to any predator, including us. According to the Centers for Disease Control, more than 60 million Americans are infected with the parasite, usually from eating undercooked meat. Once infected, the parasite stays with you for the rest of your life, buried within your muscle and nerve tissue. And there's growing evidence the toxoplasma parasite affects our behavior, too. A scientist in Prague took blood samples from blood donors and tested them for toxoplasmosis. Then they were asked to perform a test to assess the speed of their reactions. The results were subtle yet conclusive. Subjects with the toxoplasma parasite in their brains had slower reaction times. Then, the scientists analyzed blood samples taken from car accident victims. The results were startling. Drivers with toxoplasma were more than twice as likely to be involved in a traffic accident than those who were parasite-free. No wonder scientists are investigating other side effects of having a body snatcher inside our head. The toxoplasma parasite nests in our brain in microscopic cysts, immune to most medical treatments. For decades, people thought toxoplasma had no effect on us. But now the parasite is changing their minds. That's why this tiny body snatcher really is the most extreme.